Coach, Coach Kimball. Hey, there's a barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Personal space, please. You got a good start tonight, which is yeah. what you want. So. Yeah, we got a good start from all players. Our goaltender in the first period again, 17, 17. and uh, and then some some great plays by uh, that Rutu line was so good last night. And you know, you wonder how much Rutu can give. You know, on back to back, you and I talked about that. You know, this morning. And he throws that hit, and that's the goal. Um, it's inspirational, I think, to the rest of the hockey club. And almost killed everybody on the bench at one point. He got uh, five fans and four defensemen <laughs> at the end there. Yeah, quick, he uh, he really brings such a unique element to our team. Right. Um, so I like, you know, as a coach, you like to watch these games, and you see the, the players that excel at it because mm -hmm. it's a big game. The pressure's on. And some of our young players excel. Important to McBain's goal after the Camilleri power play. Yeah, the, the uh, you know our ability to answer back on both goals quickly, uh, very very important. Um, but I, you get a sense on the bench sometimes where the game is going, and, and I never really felt on the bench that, that we were pulling off our game even when they scored it. Plus they had some great chances, and we did too. And our goaltender was the difference in the early part until it broke open. But the bench never felt at any point that there was panic in the game, that we were going forward and then they scored the goal and the players are saying the right things. These last, I know the results haven't always been there, but the last two or three weeks, I really think we found a bit of an identity. Uh, they're, they're, the things they're saying to each other on the bench the, after adversity or their point no good plays, you get a, you get a sense back there at times it's a little bit more on autopilot now that the players have taken over and they're, it's a fun place to be. Mo, these two back-to-back -back games in particular, how much confidence does the team have now for these two performances? Well, I'm hoping an incredible amount. I mean, we know going into the <coughs> island they're hot and they're loose, but uh, Washington, Montreal, two teams that we hadn't beaten on the road and then on back-to-back -back, and we lost our last six back-to-back, -back, so the the list of adversity was there, and and they rose to that occasion. And you know, most importantly, maybe uh, your young guys did it. You know, uh, and that's not to discount what the other players did. But you want those players in those games, or you hope that they can survive them. Except here now, they're excelling in them, and that's just a great sign. I think I you know, enjoyed the last two games as much as any two games all year. They weren't all. They weren't pretty at times. I thought Washington was better in the first than we were, and we gave up a bunch of chances we didn't like in the first. But the bench was right, the mindset was right, and uh, we enjoyed that all. Day. Obviously, you want to take care of your own business, but mentally, does it mean something that now New York is back in the picture of chasing, and you got two teams? Gives you another you can, chance, yeah. right? And uh, you know that that Buffalo game has been on the, the docket for a couple of weeks is a critical piece. Uh, that's a big win for Buffalo to go in and shut them out. And, and I don't know, I have reported that Miller didn't play, so that, that's a confidence builder for them. Um, but you know, when you say you take care of your own business, we're where we're, we're, we should be right now at this time. We're playing the hockey we should be, so we're in the fight. And that's what this is all about. But I can tell you that I, I enjoyed the last two games that we played as, many, as much as any games this year. Um, and maybe going back to, to the season we went to the conference final, the feel on the bench is right, you know, and so they're, they're doing their best. Skinner taking a beating again tonight, especially yeah. scoring his goals, he's going to take You know, it's interesting, he's usually at his best when he bleeds a little. It's almost <laughs> that Marty gel on, I don't remember <laughs> that, but in 02, didn't shave if Marty, so well, yeah, so it's an easy, <laughs> just an easy question. Shave it. Yeah. Whenever Marty Jelena and bled, we won the game. That was game he scored. That was almost a superstition. We were talking about getting him out there in the warm-up, but um, he's developed. You know, I mean, he plays his best hockey in the big games, uh, especially in the third periods. I know he scored his two, but he played very well in that third period. His back check is very, very special for him. It wasn't that long ago that you could buy a goal. Now they've started coming. Is, did something change, or was it just more? Than I do think coming? I do think something's changed. Our passing has got quite a bit better, and uh, 
and we've worked on it in practice and, and made it a focus of our practice to share this with the passing. Uh, and now some confidence comes in. I think you see it mostly with the Route 2 line. It's not always straight down the boards to drive it and try to grind it out. We have speed through the middle, but they're hitting that high forward. And they're, uh, I think we've controlled the puck better in the offensive zone instead of jamming everything at the net. You know, I'm pretty sure that we won the shot block uh, contest tonight by quite a margin. And in a number of the games that we failed to win here, we lost that. And I go back to the Toronto game. 33, 19 in shots, and we got it. You know, I think it was 23 shots blocked. I saw our puck control has gotten a little bit better, and uh, uh, part of that is confidence. Maybe six other the games, the injured shoulder has come back pretty strong. Boy, is he, uh, is he ever, you know, like, I mean, those are some of the things that you learn as a young player is gain tolerance and what you can, what you can play with. Um, so this is good for him going forward. It's pretty much whatever he suffers from here on now, he's going to want to play because he can still get it done. Thanks, Mark.